Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 35th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can pass in variables as arguments to functions in PHP. So in the last tutorial we you know created a function called par and we saw that we can pass in uh, numeric values uh, you know to functions and you know in that uh, function we passed in three ones, we passed in two ones so you know we could have passed in any number actually. But, uh, you know, it's not that you can only pass in numeric values, you can pass in string values as well. And you don't have to actually type in those values, you know, those values could be contained in variables and you could just, you know, type in the names of those uh, variables, you know, within the argument list when you call the function and uh, PHP would accept, you know, uh, those variable contents, right? So I hope this is making sense. So anyway, let's just check out an example. So I've got a file opened up in my text editor. It's called functions2.php. On line number seven in this file, I have created two variables. The first one's called a, I've given it the value 20. On the same line, I have created another variable called b, and this one has the value 15. So then I've created a function called math, and uh, this function is going to accept two arguments. And I know this because I have created two dummy variables here. So the first one is called num1, and the second one is called num2 and I've separated them using the uh, comma symbol, right? And then I have the opening curly brace for the function definition on line number nine. I have the closing curly brace on line number 13. So between these, I have my function definition. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to perform some arithmetic operations on the values that this function is gonna receive. So I'm gonna multiply the numbers. I'm gonna divide, you know, the first one by the second maybe. And, you know, I'm also gonna round off that value to two decimal places. And uh, then I uh, am also going to find out, you know, when you divide the first number by the second, what is the remainder left? So I've used the modulo operator here. So let's check out uh, these, uh, you know, statements one by one. So the statement on line number 10 is going to, you know, perform the multiplication operation between these two numbers. So uh, we're going to receive a value for the variable num1 and we're going to receive a value for this variable num2 and we're going to find the product of those two values and we're going to display on screen because you use the echo uh, statement here. Similarly, we are going to, you know, divide the value that's received in the variable num1 by the value that's received in the variable num2 and I've used a round function to round off the value. And uh, then I, you know, as I said, we're going to find out the remainder. So we're going to divide the v value that's received, uh, you know, in variable num1 by the value that's uh, received in variable num2. And we're not going to display the quotient. Instead, we're going to display the uh, remainder on screen, right? So I've used the modulo operator here. And uh, then on line number 14, what I've done is I have uh, called the math function by typing in math. But this time within the argument list, I don't have two values. So I don't have 20 comma 15 here. Instead, I have variable names. So I have dollar A here and I have dollar B here. So, you know, actually dollar A is going to be passed to this and dollar B is going to be passed to this value. So num1 is going to take the content of the variable A, which is 20. And num2 is going to take the content of the variable B, which is 15. Right, so this sort of, uh, you know, uh, allows you to pass values indirectly. So you can, you know, store the values that you want to pass as arguments within variables and you could just type in, you know, variable names here, right? So I'll save this file and I'll go to my browser and show you the output. And uh, the name of the file is functions2, if I'm not wrong. And uh, when I press the enter key, I see that the result of multiplication is 300, the result of division is 1.33, rounded off to two decimal places, and the result of the modulo operation is five. And uh, that's because the values that were passed were 20 and 15. So 20 times 15 is 300, and uh, 20 divided by 15, rounded off to two decimal places, 1.33. And when you divide 20 by 15, the remainder that's left is five, right? So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna continue our discussion on functions. And uh, I hope you guys uh, had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.